What's up everyone? Welcome to Awesome Stuff Week and today is Unboxing Thursday where we take a look at some really incredible technology that hasn't been featured on the Phone Dog YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at something called the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. Now something you may or may not know about myself is I am a licensed private pilot. I fly things from general aviation aircraft like Cessna 172s, Diamond DA-40s, and a couple other aircraft. So today is my first ever venture into the world of quadcopters and drones thanks to the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. And the greatest thing is it has a three axis stabilized gimbal on the bottom of it and it records 4K UHD video. So I'm really excited about it. Let's go ahead and crack open into the box and take a look at the DJI Phantom 3 Professional and then take it on its maiden flight. All right, so here is the huge box that carries its aircraft, as DJI calls it. This is not some little cheap drone. It's actually quite technical, and DJI really try to get that point across. The box is fairly modest, all white, and has some key information and specs on it, but you didn't click on this video to look at the box. You want to know what's inside. So once you crack open and lift up the cover, you find an information booklet on top of the eggshell. Underneath that, the DJI Phantom 3 Professional and all of its accessories are packaged quite neatly. I also sense that the box is also meant to be used as a carrying case if you've opted to not purchase a standalone case. Inside you'll find the DJI Phantom 3 Professional, the remote controller, a box of a charger and a micro USB to USB cable, a pouch carrying two sets of rotors, and a small box carrying some accessories and tools. Overall the packaging and its contents were really top notch. Also it's really nice of them to provide an extra entire set of rotors in case your first few flights end up in trees and power lines. Well, let's hope we don't need them. Unlike my normal unboxings, reading the instructions and quick start guide is definitely recommended in this case, because unlike mobile phones, they usually don't breach controlled airspace, and as a pilot, that's actually really important. The general rule of thumb here in the US is not to fly above 400 feet. Most general aviation aircraft fly above 500 feet, but if you are gonna go above the 400 foot ceiling, just exercise extreme caution and also be informed that you are liable to any citations from the FAA. The assembly was really simple. It was a basic once over of the aircraft to make sure it's all good, remove any of the things before flight that would inhibit it flying, tighten the rotors on, and charging up the batteries. The remote has a built-in 6,000 milliamp hour battery and the aircraft has a removable 4,480 milliamp hour battery. They charge simultaneously with a single charger and they both charge really quick. Though one flight battery usually gives you about 20 minutes or so of flight, so you may want to pick up an extra battery or two if you're really interested in flying these things. Now let's talk a little about the camera. The DJI Phantom 3 Professional has a 4K UHD camera attached to a 3-axis gimbal. It's actually the same sensor as found inside the GoPro Hero 4 Black and it records 4K UHD at 30 frames per second and 4K DCI at 24 and 25 frames per second. So without further ado, let's dive into the flight footage of my first few flights with the DJI Phantom 3 Professional.
So my overall impressions of this thing is wow. It's the easiest thing to fly, and packed with its GPS, sonar, and barometer, this thing is just as stable as it can really be. At any one point, I'm always locked on to about 15 GPS satellites, including a few GLONASS Russian war satellites, and the DJI Phantom has the ability to take off, fly, and land itself all autonomously, and it's able to maintain a position even in high wind. All I'm saying is the technology packed inside of this thing is just unbelievable at the price point. And as you can tell from the video, this thing can really move. At top speed, it goes around 30 miles an hour, probably a little faster for a hint of a tailwind. And the crazy thing is, this thing can way outclimb the FAA regulation, though I do not recommend doing that whatsoever. So for the money, yes, I know it's flippin' expensive, but if you look at it as a product, its ability to do things, this thing is just unbelievable. It could be a humongous cinematic tool or just a plain fun thing to fly and geek out about. Now this video is actually shoppable. See that little eye icon on the top right? Click that to see the best prices for the DJI Phantom 3 Professional because if you are really an enthusiast cinematographer and want these really cinematic and aerial shots in 4K or even just an aviation nerd like me, you would really be pleased with this thing. But thanks for watching. If you'd like to see a full review of a DJI Phantom 3 Pro, let me know with a thumbs up below. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna, and I'll catch you in the next video.